Hello friends, I will try to do some gaming on uh, the GT1030. As I previously said in part 1, <coughs> uh, today it's 16th of January 2020. So let's check it out. Well, I have here installed an old gaming PC. So we will check this one out at full resolution. Let's do very high. Have to restart again, it seems. Play again. set for you play the loading looks like it's quite fast compared to how I remember on old graphic cards even in a GT710 it the loading it was very low. <laughs> well, it seems to move quite fast. Yeah, it moves quite good actually. I'm a little bit surprised, it has a little bit of lag. Probably the frames per second are not that high. Yeah. Let's do something here. <coughs> Let's see how hmm. teleportation is quite fast also. So yeah, well this is a very old game. So even in twenty twenty with all the updates that they had done to it, uh still I'll, the frames drops at some points so yeah I will try to install the another game but I think it takes like 20 gigabytes and it will take a while until I will install it uh, it is quite uh, difficult to because I have a very small SSD it has around uh, 120 gigabytes so I'll just show it to you I just play on this small Acer 
and I tried to put it inside but it seems it doesn't fit because of this yeah so uh, I do not even know if it's worth to uh, to have it probably I will give it back and get another graphic card uh, but it might be also because of this I'll show it you over here it might be because of this uh, processor I have it's a super old G1610 yep this is quite horrible so maybe if I can change the I, I, I bought an uh, Xeon 2620 I think no uh, sorry it is 1280 version 2 so I will try to install in this motherboard and to see how it goes with this graphic card. Come back in a couple of minutes. Alright guys, so this is it. I have changed the CPU uh, and now I can show it to you over here. It is a Xeon e3 1280 version 2 3.6 gigahertz and well of course uh, the i didn't change the ram uh i didn't actually checked if i can make the ram a little bit faster because uh as far as i remember i have uh 1600 megahertz but not 100 percent sure if the uh because i have two two uh cards so uh, of four gigabytes not 100 percent if the second one it is one 1333 or it is also 1600 i need to check that one later but Let's see how it runs now. The load this thing looks the same. It might be because I restart the computer. I don't know. I know that in other cases when you actually loading, reloading, you a higher speed. Hmm. Still, the French drops. Well, it seems it is the graphic card after all. This game, when it was released, it has such huge requirements that basically you cannot play it normally. And well it was poorly designed so it has probably trillions of updates by the gothic 3 community or gothic community in general well 
it looks fine. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem that bad. I mean, if you just want to play old games, because with this card, most probably you will not play at high resolution new games. That's 100% sure. You'll, you'll play like, let's say, uh, just other medium with very low frame rates, or you'll play it at minimum with uh, fair frame rates, let's say 40, 50 or so. But yeah, so as you can see, it it stops sometimes. Yeah, the frame rate is very, very bad. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, video. Um, it seems that in 2020 this GT uh, 1030 it might not be a very good solution to buy it even that is very cheap it's around let's say one hundred one hundred and ten dollars I mean I'm here in Iceland and this is the price here you cannot get it lower maybe around one hundred dollars I don't know but uh, the thing is GT 1030 it's not worth buying better get the at least 1050 and later on I will also tell you if you can mine with this uh, GT1030 or not because I checked it a little bit and you will see in part 3 so see you later